the Galaxy S10 series smartphones comes with a new feature called wireless PowerShare. Now what wireless PowerShare does is that it effectively turns the phone into a wireless charging power bank and you can share some charge from your phone's battery to charge up other QI wireless charging enabled devices say like a smartwatch, Galaxy earbuds and also you can charge up other smartphones. Now when it comes to charging small devices like say a wireless charging enabled smartwatch, this feature actually works quite well. So I've got my Galaxy watch right here and I have been charging this thing with the wireless power share feature since I got it. So this is the wireless charger that came with the watch, I haven't used this thing even once. So I have been charging the watch on the phone like this ever since I got it and this thing works quite well and as you can see the watch charges when I place the watch on the phone. And look at this, if I press a button on the Galaxy Gear, it will show me the charge level of the phone and charge level of the Galaxy Watch and shows 54 minutes until fully charged from 64% using this wireless power share method. And if I use the supplied charger with the Galaxy Watch, it takes roughly about the same time as it would take with the wireless power share. So you can see 65% 50 minutes remaining and we got more or less the same charging time with the wireless power share feature. And guys, the best part about wireless power share is that you can actually have your phone plugged in into the charger. So now the phone will charge and you can also charge up other devices with the wireless power share. So now the phone's battery will not drain, it will charge from the charger and the same charger will also charge up other devices. And there you have it. So guys, if you have seen Samsung's Instagram account, they kind of show wireless power share feature charging another smartphone. So what I want to see here is how long would it take to charge up a smartphone. So I've got my Galaxy Note 9 here, S10 Plus is charged up 200%. So let's turn on wireless power share feature and charge up the Note 9 and see how long it takes. So I'll put the Note 9 on the back of the S10 Plus, you can see the blue light is blinking over there. That means the wireless power share feature is ready. So I'll just place the uh, place the Note 9 at back of the S10 Plus and it'll start charging. And there you have it, charging wirelessly and it'll take 3 hours and 26 minutes until fully charged. But we shall charge this phone for about half an hour and see how it goes. So I'm just gonna leave these two phones here uh, very gently. All right, so now let's start the stopwatch. Alright, so this is the stopwatch start. So yeah, let's wait 30 minutes and see how it goes. Okay guys, it has been 10 minutes since the Note 9 has been charging with the wireless power share feature. Alright, let's check the battery level. So the battery level is now up to 26%, so that's a 5% charge level gain in 10 minutes. So it's charging half a percent per minute, which is quite slow, but still it's more than enough to give your friends some charge when they're in need. Alright guys, so it has been 32 minutes, so about half an hour since the Note 9 has been receiving charge from the S10 Plus. So let's check the battery level on the Note 9. So we are up to 35% in about half an hour. So that means the Note 9 has gained about 14% charge from the S10 Plus in about half an hour. Slightly more than half an hour, so it's now 32 minutes. So yeah, not bad. Alright, so now let's wait 30 minutes and see how much charge we can put in into the Note 9 and then we'll see how many percentage we've drained out of the S10 Plus. Alright guys, it has been exactly 1 hour since the Note 9 has been charging on the S10 Plus. So let's check the battery level. So we are at 46%, so that's a 25% charge gain in about 1 hour. So yeah, not exactly the fastest charging speed. So let's check the charge level on the S10 Plus. So the S10 Plus is down to 60%. So that's a 40% drop in the charge level on the S10 Plus. Meanwhile, we gained only about 25% on the Note 9. So that shows you how inefficient wireless charging really is. So one more thing I want to test here is how the charging speeds are like if we keep the phone like this. So you guys just saw that I uh, charged the Note 9 in this position. But all of the Samsung's uh, advertisement and their website, they show that the phone is placed on the S10 Plus like this. So what I want to do is drain the battery of the Note 9 back down to 21% and charge up the S10 Plus to 100 and then we'll do this exact same test and see how the numbers are like. And I want to see if there's any difference in charging speed if we place the phone like this as opposed to placing the phone like this. 
All right, so I've drained the battery on the Note 9 back down to 21% and the S10 Plus is now fully charged. So let's go ahead and do this test the way Samsung shows it in their advertisements. So let's turn on wireless power share. So flip this thing over and now I'll keep the Note 9 uh, like this. So this is how uh, Samsung shows it in their commercials and advertisement material. So let's start the stopwatch. All right, so here we go. Okay, slight readjustment. So let's align the phones like this. So this is how Samsung aligns it in their promo material. All right, so I'll be back after one hour and we'll see how much charge we are able to put in the Note 9 and how much battery we have drained on the S10 Plus. All right guys, so it has been one hour since the Galaxy Note 9 has been pulled in charge from the S10 Plus. So let's check the battery level. So we are at 40% charge level. Damn, that's like 6% less charge versus when I'd kept the phone, kept the Note 9 vertically on the S10 Plus. So guys, we have gained only 19% charge in about one hour. So if you want faster wireless charging through wireless power share, you might wanna put the phones on top of each other like this instead of putting them horizontally like this. So putting them vertically like this makes them charge a little bit faster. And since wireless power share power output isn't that much, it's best to align the phone like this. So let's check out the battery level on the S10 Plus. So we are at 70% on the S10 Plus. All right guys, that brings us to the end of this video. Hope you've enjoyed and hope this video gives you a little insight on how the wireless power share feature works and how you should actually charge another smartphone. And if you like my content, please press the like button. It does help out a lot. And do consider subscribing and following me on Instagram. All the links are down in the video description. So guys, thank you for watching and do stay tuned for more videos on the Galaxy S10 Plus. And I will see you guys next time.